Tomorrow is the 4th of July, and since there has been some quotes that I really liked regarding the topic of freedom, I thought I'd share them. Miriam's Webster Dictionary says that freedom is the absence of necessity, coercion, or constraint in choice or action. And there are other definitions can be categorized under the phrase, the right to do what you want. However, I liked it, Abraham Lincoln's definition more. He wrote, freedom is not the right to do what we want, but what we ought. Let us have faith that right makes might, and in that faith let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it. Benjamin Franklin also wrote on this topic like so. Let me add that only virtuous people are capable of freedom. As nations become corrupt and vicious, they have more need of masters. So f what Abraham Lincoln and Benjamin Franklin are saying is that if you don't do what's right, you are not entitled to freedom. And I think this falls under the idea of with freedom comes responsibility. Too many people think of freedom in the sense of absolute freedom, like Webster's, where one can, does, one can do anything one wants. However, freedom is not all there is. There is also right and wrong, which supersedes what a person can do and what they want to do. This is how societies are ran. For example, in, if you kill someone in America, you will get put in jail. Your freedom to um, to live your life freely is taken away from you. You know, y y you'll probably put be put in prison. And um, so freedom, and I think this is what both Lincoln and Franklin refer to in their quotes. Um, Lincoln, he, the part where he referred to it is that um, what we ought that mean what we should do that mean what it, what we should do it has an implication on right and wrong there's stuff that we shouldn't do the wrong stuff and there's stuff that we should do the right stuff and for Franklin he said that only virtuous people are capable of freedom virtuous again is people who knows how to do the right thing and does it they have a moral standard so both Lincoln and Franklin refer to this concept of right and wrong in their quotes. Um, I wanted to bring up an example to make it more clear. So if there's a person who wants to kill, if that person executes their desire to kill, they will have their freedom taken away from them, societal law, because they are not virtuous and have done something that, you sh they sh that shouldn't have been done. However, if a person wants to save someone, let's say there's a person drowning, and there's a law that prevents that person from saving the drowning person, then that person, the person who wants to do right that couldn't, their freedom is violated. Therefore, the extent of one's freedom is conditioned on right versus wrong. The question then is, how do we know what is right, and how do we know what is wrong? This is something that our modern society have trouble and confusion with, and I think the reason for this is due to the rise in moral relativism, where people say what's right for you might not be what's right for me. And that's why my favorite quote of all time is, universal truth does not equal mass appeal. Regardless of what the majority or minority agrees with it or not, there is a universal truth, and that truth is God. He created life, created all of creation, and the laws that govern his creation should be followed. Taking it a step further, I don't believe that there is absolute freedom. I believe that we are all slaves to righteousness or unrighteousness. We can choose to follow God's way of righteousness or our own fleshly carnal desires. We can choose to live a life as light and salt or in darkness. Whatever choice we make, it will determine the path we travel. And when we make the right choice, we are free from the repercussions of sin and enjoy the fruit of our decisions. This constant struggle against humanly desires and death to oneself causes us to be free from sin. And that is true freedom, where we are free to enjoy everything good that God has planned for us. So, sow a thought, reap an action. Sow an action, reap a habit. 
So a habit, reap a character. So a character, reap a destiny. So, so a character, thoughts, actions that will reap you a destiny of um, blessings. And as Abraham Lincoln said, let us have faith that right makes might, and in that faith let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it, dare to do the right thing.